what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello i'm lydian tomorrow i'm getting the top part with this tripod and i'll actually be able to use a tripod instead of a glass jar for switch games yay anyway today i want to talk about my addictions story so to anyone who doesn't know i used to be a cocaine user i don't like saying that i've been sober for five years now which is amazing because I used to use it every day. Now my story of addiction starts seven years ago when I was living in Lancashire. Preston to be exact and I'll put a map on screen for anyone who doesn't know where Preston is. I used to live in Lancashire because I went to university in I was in the University of Central Lancashire to begin with. Obviously I'm not there now, I live in London and I get to a better uni. <laughs> Seriously, the move into London was the best decision I made. My mom didn't like the decision, my grandparents didn't like the decision, my friends were telling me not to do it, but I did it anyway, and it's turned out to be the best. Minus the hospital admissions. To ignore them, they didn't really exist. So anyway, my addiction story goes back seven years. Now, I had a boyfriend at the time who was a cocaine user, along with all the drugs. I started using cocaine with my boyfriend at the time, and eventually I, I didn't need my boyfriend anymore to get it. I made friends with a drug dealer, and... I bought him drinks in exchange for a use of his supply. I also flirted a little bit. I'll get you back, get you back, get you back. I then moved in with a drug dealer in my first year of living in London. Just to be clear, it was my choice to use the cocaine and I take full responsibility for that. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And it got to a point where I couldn't go without it. And then I overdosed on it and that was scary. Scary enough to make me not want to use it anymore. But then I did when when I met this drug dealing fake landlord dude. I lost a lot of friends because I was using cocaine. And people could tell because my pupils were like frying pans. It wasn't a good time in my life. I wasn't happy. Now I look back and I'm like, oh, why did I turn to drugs? Using drugs was an escape for me. Escape from the fact that I had no friends. Escape from the fact that I had police constantly knocking on my front door and doing welfare checks. I'm talking that it was every night someone would call the police and they'd be at my front door. I know who it was. I'm not going to say their name online because I don't want to cause a shit show. But if you know, if you know, you know. Cocaine was my best friend because it gave me the lift in my mood and you're thinking so fast. It kind of resembles me manic in a way because you think so quickly on it and time moves so fast. I did some of my, my best coursework when I was high and I don't even know why I did so well. I got off of this on all my assignments. I would never recommend trying cocaine. Okay kids, no, no drugs. Drugs are bad, except the prescription ones. Prescription drugs save lives. But let me be serious for a moment. If you're prescribed medication, take it as prescribed and it will help. Using cocaine or other drugs is bad. There's a very thin line. Just don't touch illegal drugs. I care about you guys. Like, don't, don't. Follow in my footsteps. We use this channel as a learning curve because I want you all to be safe and I want you all to be well. I would, I'd would, hate to see anyone get sucked into addiction because of me just talking about it. I'm talking about it to raise awareness that it's a very big thing amongst uni students. When I lived in Preston, I couldn't walk down the corner without getting offered drugs. It was a bad environment to be in. It was a bad... It's a really rough place to live. Just learn from my mistakes. Don't do drugs. Stay safe, stay sober, and don't let's be nice to each other. Peace.